after 10 months, hockey's back. And the Boston Bruins are back at it to begin a weird 56-game all-divisional series with a whole bunch of new faces at defense and a brand new captain in a long time coming, the easiest captain choice ever, in Patrice Bergeron. So, all these new players, they're going to get thrown right into the deep end. I'm looking at you, Jeremy Lozon, Jacob Saboro, Jack Stanika. Uh, sink or swim time for Boston Bruins defensemen as they're thrown right into the fire, right off the bat. So, let's talk about it. Also, i going to talk about a few things before we begin. Welcome back, Kevin Miller, the grizzled veteran of the Boston Decor at a whopping 30... I think 32 years old, I might be wrong on that, 651 days since his last start, so coming off a really bad twice broken kneecap, I believe, if I'm correct on that, also welcome back to Karask, glad you um, were able to take care of that family situation, welcome back to Boston, and welcome back to the Bruins, it's good to see you, and we'll get into why, as... The Bruins took on the New Jersey Devils. Game one. Bruins. Recap show. We start things off in the first period for the Boston Bruins. It's two U's, two K's, two Karask. He goes up against Mackenzie Blackwood of the New Jersey Devils. And I'm just going to say it right now. Mackenzie Blackwood is going to be a star goaltender in the NHL and he proved that right off the bat Boston out shooting New Jersey in the first period 16 to 4 and Mackenzie Blackwood stops 15 out of those 16 um, a little bit of housekeeping work as it is Trent Frederick in on the fourth line for the Boston Bruins Craig Smith is out with an upper body injury um, I believe that he aggravated in training camp that moves Anders Bjork up to the third line. He plays with Nick Ritchie and Charlie Coyle. And I gotta say, both Trent Frederick and Anders Bjork looked really, really good in this game. In the first period, the Boston Bruins ended up giving up a, a fair amount of one-on-ones and also some breakaways in this. Um, and a couple of them ended up in goaltender interference penalties, one specifically. So Boston going on the power play. And it's a face-off win by the New Jersey Devils as Kyle Palmieri looking to break it out of the zone and pass it over. That pass gets intercepted by David Krejci. Ends up on the stick of Patrice Bergeron with a nifty, beautiful backhand pass right back to David Krejci. Takes it down the boards and finds Brad Marchand right in front of the net. That's a tip-in goal. That's some fantasy points. The Boston Bruins take it 1-0 on the power play. And we go... To the second period, up one nothing, And you can tell that the Bruins have not had a huge amount of time to air things out. Neither, nobody has. It's a 10-day training camp. What are you going to do? Because it's some very, very sloppy play from the Boston Bruins. Turnovers. And you can tell that New Jersey's big upside. New Jersey is one fast team. Um, the speed of New Jersey really got to Boston in the second and third, and even especially in the, the later periods. Shots were a lot closer. New Jersey's starting to get back into this game. They're starting to get believability. Um, Boston wasn't able to extend the lead in the second period, and Rask having to come up huge on a play as Pavel Zaka took it down. Charlie McAvoy doing everything in his power to make to keep Zaka to the outside, but he gets around him, goes for a backhand, Rask with a nifty leg save, and it stays 1-0. We go to the third. We go to the third period, and the speed of the New Jersey Devils is really starting to show. Kevin Miller goes for a pinch. The puck ends up onto the point where Sean Corrali has it, but it gets stolen by Jack Hughes. Well, he's going to be a stud for this team, for that New Jersey team, I can tell you that. Ends up all going to the stick of Miles Wood, and he is off to the races. Nobody's going to catch him. He goes high blocker on Tuka Rask. 1-1, and the New Jersey Devils are right back in it. A little bit later on, Miles Woods again 
Another one-on-one -on -one opportunity. This time, uh, he backs into Tuka Rask. And that is another goaltender interference. Tuka Rask took a beating in this game. Uh, that's a goaltender interference penalty. Miles Wood to the penalty box. And the Bruins on the power play. It's Matt Grizzlick at the point. He takes a shot. The rebound goes to Krejci over on the wall. He passes it back up to Matt Grizzlick. Grizzlick goes back down to Brad Marchand on the other side. Marchand takes it low. And uh, this looks very familiar as Brad Marchand passes a tip-in goal opportunity for Nick Ritchie, of all people. Nick Ritchie on the power play. Makes it a 2-1 game. And somebody should tell the New Jersey Devils, cover the front of the net. <laughs> As it is the exact same play from the Boston Bruins. The low cross crease tip in goal. If it works, it works. And do it till it works. Doesn't work anymore. So Bruins go up 2-1. 34 seconds later though. And it's Jack Hughes getting a, the puck in the corner. He goes high to low to high to Tennyson. D to D pass to Ty Smith. And this is a weird, weird sh as he takes the shot. It goes off of Charlie McAvoy. It goes off of Jeremy Lausanne. It goes off of Snooky. The it ends up hitting a fan who is wearing a mask in the outside of the building. I don't even know how that happens. And it bounces off of McAvoy again, and it goes. Up on over to Karask. I, I I got nothing. It hit every... If there was a... I think it hit everyone on the bench before it went in. This is just a weird, weird, wacky shot. Not much to Karask could do on this one. 2-2. Two, two, they give the goal to Ty Smith. I don't know who you give that goal to because it hit everybody in the world. Anyway, 2-2 two, two, Ty. We go to overtime. Because of why not? Extra hockey. We haven't had it in 10 months. So, in overtime. And this is where the speed of the New Jersey Devils really comes into play. As there's so much open ice. So, just nothing but speed in the 3-on-3. Three -three. Tukaras having to come up huge. Breakaway save on Kyle Palmieri. A couple of saves on Jack Hughes. Just Tukaras. Standing on his head, keeping the Boston Bruins in this game in the overtime period. And keeps it even. We go to the skills competition. And in the skills competition, uh, Gusev and Bovquist both get stopped. So does Jack Hughes. Coyle and Kashe don't get anything. But it's Brad Marchand, the hero that he is. Gives a heck, goes in with speed, gives a head fake and goes five hole. On Mackenzie Blackwood, the Bruins win in the skills competition. The Bruins get two points. The Devils get a point, but who cares about that? The Bruins win the season opener in New Jersey. Whoo! Let's go to the three stars of the game. So for the three stars of the game, like I said, Trent Frederick looked good. Anders Bjork looked good. I'm going to give it what the hell. I'll give it to Nick Ritchie. Also, a uh, new segment on this show, the uh, Nick Ritchie actually did a thing versus Danton Heinen. So, here you go, Nick Ritchie. You get a point. Uh, Danton Heinen, who did nothing against the Vegas Golden Knights, still stays at zero. Yes, this will be a running gag. Yes, it will. Star number two, making 20 saves out of 22 shots. I'm surprised it was only 22 because I had a coronary in overtime. Two Qs, two Ks, two points. Tuka Rask. And star number one, the hero that we all love, Brad Marchand, the shootout winner, as well as a power play goal and a power play assist. That's some fantasy points. I like me some fantasy points. Woo! Hockey's back. The Bruins get two points in a very, very tough division. New Jersey's not going away. The Islanders are going to be a, a problem upcoming very, very soon as are the Flyers, as are the Washington Capitals. Buffalo made it interesting against the Capitals in an earlier game. This division is absolutely ludicrous. So, next up on the schedule for the Boston Bruins, they take on the New Jersey Devils one more time on Saturday at 1 o'clock. We'll see you then on the next Bruins. Cap show?